It's the AJ McCall Show. After, after the, the show! show! All right. Producer Butters, always looking for love in all the wrong places. We found your solution. Oh. How much do you trust psychics? I don't feel like we talk about this specifically with you. Like, I talk with McCall all the time about the, like, spiritual and paranormal stuff. I don't feel like I talk to you nearly as much about it. Psychic readings, tarot cards, all that. What's 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 the read on the room for you? I'm not sure how I feel about it. Oh, okay. Have you done any of that stuff? No. Not any of it? No. So the closest you come is just interacting with the hippie known as McCall Taylor. It's like, uh, do I want to pay for that scam? <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel about that stuff, but I'm not sure if I'd like to pay for that scam. Nicole, that's, is that an opinion one way or the other? I'm not so Please. sure. <laughs> we pay for scams all the time. <laughs> I mean, is it is it an actual scam or? Well, it depends. I think McCall's, really uh, McCall's mom's story about the, uh, was it the psychic? She was yeah. late. That one's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. My mom, my mom had a psychic that she scheduled an appointment with. My mom showed up and she wasn't there. And she's like, Hey, where are you? And she's like, oh, sorry, I forgot about her appointment. I was like, well, could, oh, couldn't so you see that? Like, I mean, uh, you know. Condemning of some of her powers, perhaps. Didn't you, uh, didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Yes. On Etsy, there is a psychic that, for a fee and some basic information, will sketch your soulmate within 24 hours. All right. Very detailed drawing. And then you can just go around holding it up and be like, no. Okay. Well, let's me. do it. Let's sign me up. It's sixty-six dollars. All right. So if we uh, we'll write it off. <laughs> yeah. It's a work cool. thing. Cool. Yeah, it's we're gonna see thing. if it works. Yeah, definitely. Let's just uh, get some petty cash for that and yeah. call it good. Yeah. yeah, it's for the show and the podcast. I it's like totally that idea. Yeah, yeah. So are you on board, or are you just on board because you're gonna get it free? Yes. On board because he's gonna get it for free. Both. <laughs> What do you think your What do you think your soulmate looks like, producer Butters? I don't know. Blonde hair, brunette. That's why I would be doing tall, it. short. I don't know. That's fair. It's a good point. It's a good answer to have. No idea. <laughs> I'm not picking very well, so point me in a direction and help me narrow it down. Uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we now have. Uh, do we have to write a proposal for that? What do we do? We spend it first, and then say it was show related, and just pass the receipt back. How do we do that? Tell them we need uh, money for. Tips I need money and I need it now. Jack's wood fire oven. Oh boy, <laughs> that's a bad idea. Let's not do that. Well, that's lying. I think yeah. I would just rather like omit certain information. Yeah. And then uh, nobody's the wiser. They could ask a question, right? This is about your soulmate. They don't want you to find happiness. No. Basically. Oof. Wow, that's uh. Ugh. That hurts. It's a little. Ow. It's the Mariana Trench right there of sadness. Wow. Oh, speaking of, I Welcome love that band, you guys. To, thanks, Simple Plan. I am a big. Oh, I'm also Welcome a big fan of that life. of that band too. <laughs> let's just let's just bounce back and forth from band to band. Oh, okay. Quick sidetrack. No. McCall and I were listening to Producer Butters. You occasionally watch uh, TikTok videos get past you. Have you seen that latest one? That's like if you know two or three, a handful of these songs, you had an emo phase. Have you seen that one? No. No. So I played it for McCall, who I think has already seen it. And it plays like all the top songs, like Panic at the Disco. Yep. I told uh, him, I said, Fall you know, Out Boy, this Green is Day. stupid because these are like the top songs yeah, on an alternative cuts. chart yeah. at well, not this even point that. in time. I remember being a top even 40. Even top 40. Fall Out Boy. Fall Out Boys Boy. Like Old. Girls. Green Old. Day. Uh, Panic at the Disco. There's a couple others. Uh, the um, Chester Bennington one. Yeah, Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park. Those were all on top 40s. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they had like crossovers, yes. Well, that's what, those are the songs they were all playing. The they were playing like those... deeper cuts yeah. that were like. But but I mean, I mean, there that little there was phase no was Mayday kind parade. of it was kind of emo phased. Yeah. For a but, while. Yeah. yeah, but I think you, but that's if like if people are like, oh yeah, you went through an emo phase, no. it's got to be like you just got exposed to good music, music. right? You just got exposed <laughs> to it probably on the top forty radio station <laughs> or the alternative radio station or the rock station. I mean, that's probably why. I mean, I would listen to it, I guess. Right. You terrible right. person. But like, you listen I to it it's awesome. listen to all of that music. All My of point time. is, is that clawing in an emo phase like groups you into this collective. Right, you were identity that you definitely you are not a necessarily a part kid. of because you right. listen to some of the top songs in the world. It's at that like point you're just time. overreacting. No, you're no. Not a I'm kid. I'm reacting the exact right amount. Yeah, 
Because, like, when you look at it, you're, I just... You're over You've been in radio a long time. You uh, This is ridiculous that I have to argue this point with I you. I know. I know. It says you were a scene kid if you listened to these songs. And it's like, no, you weren't. You just... They were literally everywhere. You just had access to, like... Well, McCall had an emo phase. Yeah. And yeah. I listened to things like... I'm sure she listened all to All sorts of, cuts. like, deeper cuts of, you know... I'm going to say Mayday Parade and someone's going to be like, oh, get the heck out of here. They were not, like, deep cuts. No, there were... There were I loved it. Panic of the Disco, Green Day, or Fallout Boy. I loved all of those ones, but yes. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. They weren't even some of their lesser known songs. It was like, it was Sugar, We're Going Down, and uh, I write Boulevard, sins, not tragedies yeah, Boulevard and, of Broken Dreams. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah just yeah. like the rock phase. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't see that being emo, though. That's the point. Yeah. That's the point. Right. Okay. Cool. Great. Wow. All right, so that argued forgotten, with a brick no, wall. Yeah, that forgotten piece of history is a great segue into what you forget the most. Everything. <laughs> so a list was put together for the uh, what the average person forgets the most. By the way, the average person has 332 forgetful moments a year. So oh, you great. Know, just over six a week. You know, just oh crap, I closed out of something I wasn't supposed to close. Forgetful out. moment number one for today. Probably not. Just for one during the after show. Don't worry, I've been on cue with uh, the driver's license division to have a conversation with these guys. You're going to start it all over. And I get to start it all over. You'll wow. get there faster good this thing, time. Good hmm. thing the wait time's not very long. Yeah. yeah, it said three minutes and it's been ten. <laughs> Hello? Do you guys like, look, okay, if you're going to be telling me that it's three minutes and then it's ten minutes, I'm not going to be very happy about this. Because so, it's the same thing. Like, what so happens? Do it on your laptop, your phone, and the computer and see no. what you can get Yeah, get in the no, line as many I'm trying times to manage as possible. A video. I'm trying to manage a video and questions. Stupid just, website. Just go log all 50 computers in the building on and just whichever <laughs> one pops on first. So just take up the next 50 spots in it's line. It's like, don't worry. It'll only be three minutes and then it's like 10 minutes and it's like do you know what would happen if they tell you you have to get you can only miss three questions on the question sheet for the driver's license test and you end up missing 10 do you know what happens you fail so guess what you fail i'm mad oh i'm mad i would agree the customer service auto replies are really stupid because like because like i don't need them popping on on the phone thing and like we're sorry we're busy i got it i know you're busy that's why i'm on hold just stop coming back actually the one thing i hate more than anything in the world is when you're on hold with somebody and it's like oh okay it sounds like they're going to be coming back on and it's like sorry we're still on hold we appreciate your patience please hang on the line for just a few minutes while a team member assists you and then it goes back to stupid elevator music. It's like, just keep the stupid <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> like, we should I, start our own elevator music cover band. <laughs> oh, That's our goal. Our goal is to sing. How, How is it that we can't have a legitimate uh, discussion where we agree on the emo music <laughs> and then you're like, somebody come get her. We can talk about TikTok music. But you'll agree with that. Uh, of course. Hey, hey, we're about four seconds away from him going. It's because it's because yeah, I love. am very dude. I love spaced. TikTok. I love it this week. Anyway, space case. Got it's it. okay. I feel that. So, uh, f- speaking of producer Butter's forgotten memory, let's go back to the things you forget the most. <sighs> Sorry, now I'm mad. What's the thing you forget the most? Everything. Apparently, renewing my license. That's not in the top ten, but it sounds very important. So you yeah. should probably do that. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Producer Cleaning butters, my car. What do you for? Uh, nope. Oh, uh, not in the I, top ten. Wait, what do I forget the most? Yeah. What? <laughs> no, McCall. Yes, producer butters. <laughs> <laughs> Again. It's because uh, it's all he hears right now. He's just. <laughs> do, 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 he's probably. Oh, wait, he's talking to me. What? He, he's probably Friday doing uh, for me. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucks to suck. What do you forget the most? Besides having a conversation where you speak A to B and then B to A and then A to B and then A to B to A. <laughs> Sometimes I forget to do things here and leave and Work. go home. Yeah, like that kind of thing. Uh, I'm gonna you s- go you still with the guys ain't hitting the top ten. I'm going to go with your phone, your keys, your wallet, your purse, your clothes. Uh, Sometimes your I walk out I naked. <laughs> I don't know. Forget any of that. Keys are three. Uh, phone was ten. Sometimes <laughs> I forget to go to the store. 
That uh, sucks. What you need yeah. at the store what is two. What you need at the store is the worst. Is two. You go in, you need milk, you come out. This is the story of me going to Target, oh okay? Boy. Once upon a time, I went into Target. Did I need anything? Absolutely not. What did I walk out with? $200 worth of BS. That's Sam's Club. Oh, not for me. I can't go there because right, I'm not so, a member. Uh, I've been meaning to, to bring that up. I think we might have an, have to have an intervention. You have to have an intervention? Yeah, somebody's mm. financial habits. Mine? Again? Crap. You know, just what, what, everybody in the room not named AJ. How about that? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> the top, the it's top fine, five. It's fine. It's fine. It's future Kyle's problem. <laughs> You know, I, I'm pretty sure I heard that once before. I think somebody, uh, it's fine, it's fine, it's future McCall's problem. I huh. think I heard once before. Hey, hey, that, uh, well, I that sounds gotten, very familiar. I haven't gotten as bad as her. That's good. But it starts somewhere. I had a drug habit. I'm just then not as snowball. bad as McCall's drug habit. So I'm fine. It's I fine. McCall doesn't have yet. a drug habit. <laughs> no, it was no, an Ty. example. Our good friend Ty just sent us a message and said, again, McCall? No, I'm good now. I'm good. All my stuff is paid for. Mostly ish. Until she buys something new. Like a four wheeler. <laughs> uh, the top five I things. Want one. Yeah, I know. The top five things people forget are uh, people's names after you've been introduced. Guilty. Oh, yes. AJ's the most guilty. Oh, Worst. Yeah. That. Especially on the phone. I ask them what their name is to start the phone call, too, and then I mess it up. Uh, walking into a room and forgetting why My you walked in there. Hey, it's Sarah. What up, Shannon? How are you? <laughs> happens more than it should. Huh. Where your keys are, three, what at the grocery store, two, and number one, passwords. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Duh. I thought we all as a society I remedied that by basically picking the same four passwords for the 75 sites that no. we need them no, for. No, that's bad. I have a bad. different password for every site. Yeah, me too. Yeah, like, I know you told me yours. But I got. But I have <laughs> one password that's that I have like written down that gets me to all my other passwords. Right, so the pa the password password. Yeah. Heaven forbid you forget your password <laughs> password. If I lost that, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> Just gonna have to, you know, fake my own death and start a new identity because I'm not gonna remember any of my information. <laughs> it's fine. Frankly, at this point, with the financial concern, maybe that's something that's on the table for you. Who's to say? I think it was at one point from a call. <gasps> I can blame COVID COVID nineteen. Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, pandemic got another one. Bummer. Hey everyone, this is producer Salt. <laughs> <laughs> a little salty. That's perfect Actually, that's name for bad. him. Yeah, yeah that's agree. a great name. Like I kind of like that. But okay. All right, producer Cheese Whiz. I actually, I'm gonna call you Professor Throw Cheese Whiz. The cheese. You're a Professor Cheese Whiz from hence thereforth. <laughs> how was your How was your cheese heist yesterday? Mm. Uh, you know, it's funny you bring that up because uh, maybe tomorrow, certain someone's gonna discuss the ultimate heist. Uh -huh. Oh, it's not me because I'm not gonna be here. Uh, but lovely. I love cheese. Except I got the hot one again, and I was like, I know this is hot, but I can handle it, and it's really hot. Fun mm. fact. I hate it when I can't AJ handle my hot cheese. like squeaky <laughs> cheese. I don't, yeah. and I accidentally bought some yesterday. Accidentally? How do you accidentally <laughs> buy a bag know, of cheese curds? Somehow it just fell out of the shelf right Oops, into my, my cart. Oh, oh, no. It said jalap jalapeno cheese. That was all I was focusing on because I was like, hmm, in my face. And, and then, then I bought like, it. Oh, and then no. I got home and yeah. I chewed and it went quick, 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 quick. And I was like, well, it's too good. I'm going to eat it anyway. But I don't <laughs> like it. Uh -huh. I don't it's like so the good. sensation. Squeaky cheese is the best. I'm going to have to get some for my snacky snacks for road Where trips. We're like right here. So I was Crap. just like, screw Ow. it. I'm going to get some cheese. And it was the best cheese decision ever. Mm. Cheese decision. So reasonably priced. I don't know that I like that. The cheese was reasonably no, priced? No, I said cheese decisions. Cheese decisions? I liked it. My favorite was the horseradish cheese. Oh. Mm. Cheese delicious. Cheat that. <laughs> cheese delicious definition that makes, my makes the go voice go loco. <laughs> mm -mm, I don't like that. <laughs> Definitely. Horseradish makes you go oh. like that? <gasps> yeah. It's delicious. Dude, drama just popped off. I'm so excited. Oh, good. Oh! Things are always good when everyone else's life's falling apart. Ooh! Bye, yeah. Shane Dawson. <laughs> you going to be all right? No. no. Okay, McCall's dead. Pour the tea. Oh, I'm so excited. You have no idea right now. Someone's life may be ruined and you just said you're excited. Well, maybe they shouldn't have been a total garbage human in the first place. That's fair. I'm just pointing out the irony of your statement. Here comes Dusty. By the way, uh, if anyone <laughs> ever has the misfortune of watching a YouTube video with McCall, heads up. 
She watches it and fast forward. I do. Which is honestly probably a good thing for me because then I have to like learn to comprehend that while also trying to comprehend McCall, who yesterday, and I quote, said, I'm glad Scott likes our videos. Scott who? Scott! <laughs> Thank you. You have solved it. My question has been answered. No further questions, Your Honor. I didn't know who it was the first time shouting his name and he didn't solve the problem. Don't worry. I well, thought about it. You don't it. know who Scott is? What Apparently up, Scott? Not. If you're watching, we love you. I actually like, have no idea who Scott is either. How dare you? You have no idea what's going on in this conversation. Pretty much. See? Just focusing How on dare cheese. You? Now he's just like, I'm focusing cheese, on cheese. Cheese, 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 cheese. Oh, what a disaster. Oh, my God. What are you talking about? That's what's going on in your head constantly. I can see it. <laughs> right now, yes. Yeah, basically. see? Cheese, cheese, cheese. You're just thinking about it. You're oh. like, mmm, Costner's. Mm, I did delicious. not get any ice cream or milk yesterday. What? Just cheese. All Shameful. Cheese. Just cheese. Nothing but the cheese. I decided I needed to be constipated by eating all the cheese possible. I drink milk to counteract that. Cool. <laughs> ah, lactose intolerance. Got it. <laughs> Basically. So, so I don't drink milk. Speaking of the diarrhea of humankind, uh, how, are you, gonna, how are you going to play that next? I was this close to giving mankind applause because it, it's turned out that uh, Karen has disappeared from baby name vernacular, only to find out that in the top 100 girl names, Corona made it. Yep. This close, mankind. You almost got something right. You were that close. Yes. Who's naming their kid Corona? Some idiot. Somebody come get her. <laughs> They're acting like a moron. Basically. Correct. Like, it's not even a pretty name. It's also a beer when it's not a virus. No. Oh, I think it was a beer first. I think everybody forgot about that. Even the beer was like, all right, we're just going to we're gonna pull back because this virus is harming us. You're going to name your kid after that? That's the stupidest thing. It's so dumb. It's worse than Apple. Covina. COVID. I don't even think apple's that bad. It's a fruit. It's apple. It doesn't. It doesn't so it, is kiwi COVID. or banana. I would COVID think that those 20. names are stupid too. COVID or apricot. <laughs> what year were you born? Oh, yeah, that's right. 20. <laughs> ah, my sister's born in 2000, so I remember how old she is. Usually yeah. it takes me a second to remember. It's because I'm doing the math from zero, zero. Oh. She turns 20 this year. See, I did it. Come on. Oh, okay. Math, math. <laughs> cheese, cheese, cheese. I hope you get your cheese or math or whatever it is that's going to clear your brain. Or maybe you just get to sit at home and film yourself going, do, 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 do. Yeah, that doesn't happen. Maybe that'll find, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm wait. pretty sure it was because I couldn't sleep last night. So I got up and did the dishes at midnight. Right. And by dishes, he means, do, do, do. No, that's how I do the dishes. <laughs> I wow! Was, I was like, you know it's what? Like the Trey Kennedy video all over Since again. I, I can't love focus him. And I can't sleep. I am going to do the dishes. Why didn't you just oh. come in early and get all your work done? Uh, because I still have to wait. That's dumb. Well, that's stupid. You Why should. Why not uh, just do it the first of the week and just be done for the rest? Yeah, that's efficiency right there. Yeah. One day of work for seven days of pay. Score. Duh. Yeah. Our bosses don't listen to this podcast, right? No. Yeah. By the way, you can join me in my new annoying thing. So we were talking earlier about Jenna Marble, RIP. I really wish she didn't leave YouTube. It's ridiculous. Nope. There's a lot of people that are about to, though. But we were talking about her and, and podcasts and whatnot. And McCall's like, she have a podcast? I'm like, everybody has a podcast. This is how you respond to 2020. You should do a podcast about Even that. a podcast has a podcast. <laughs> your podcast has a so I was thinking, that's how I'm going to end every sentence now. When someone says something to me, and I really don't want to participate in the conversation, we go, podcast. That's a great podcast so i can encourage more more crap to go out there which will lift the good ones we're talking about road tires today <laughs> <laughs> ah yes the uh industrial industrial version of road tires would you like you sand paddle squeak, tires squeaky cheese is the top would you like all-wheel drive I'm how about my, how about brain i'm gonna do it in my tires. npr voice today we're talking about cheese on Stupid. the cheese aficionado podcast i don't how to do an NPR voice. Well, it sucks to be you. I did it all through college. Oh, well, hmm, I didn't. Hmm. Wow, you made it super awkward. And <laughs> it's okay. People don't like me for my NPR or for my voice anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep That's it generic. Just sing all the time. La. <laughs> it's really easy. You just talk. You have to have energy, but quiet energy, and you have to enunciate. Yeah, I don't do that. Well, then you can't do it. Mm, uh, mm, oh, no. Another Let's fort. start a podcast that we know nothing about. 
<laughs> oh, great. That's called the learner's permit. Ooh, somebody write this down. Don't take and it. And we'll just pick a to- yeah, patent pending. Patent we'll just pending. pick a topic. We'll just pick a topic <laughs> and then to we'll just like lawyers. search I own like it. research it beforehand. That's a good idea. And then unlike all the people on Facebook, we'll actually learn something as opposed to spouting moronic opinions. And then we'll put we'll have AJ change a tire. Oh gosh. And explain how to do I have that. done that before. Oh great. Oil That's... is much more of a nightmare. We'll teach we'll make AJ <laughs> By the way, drive a standard. On the subject, my mom asked me today, do you know how to drive a stick shift? To which I immediately text back, absolutely not. Yes, every day. No. I do that. It's like about letting me borrow someone's car. <laughs> It's supposed to make that sound right. Sorry. Listen to that baby purr. Sorry. I thought it was an automatic. I dropped the clutch. I don't know why the engine My blew. transmission. <laughs> Your car's supposed to be smoking like that, right? It means it's going fast. I mean, uh, it was in the red line. I thought it was going fast. Oh, cool. Yeah. The red line means go faster. Yeah. Got these RPMs way high. This car's quiet. I saw it in Ford versus Ferrari. They go really fast that way. This car's quiet as a mouse. I wonder why. Oh, it's because you killed it again and it's an idol. <laughs> I can't stop. Uh, I can't stop. Okay. Well, I, guess, I guess we've decided Flux we're going to do a podcast proud. where I crash a car. So that's yep. unfamiliar to me. I've never done that before, especially oh, yeah. not in Montana. So or, you know, five times. Enjoy Montana. Five times? How many times have you crashed a car? Three. Oh, my bad. How many times have you scraped up a car and maybe slightly got it in damage? More control. The, huh? the, the number is slightly higher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I consider damage to a car as crashing. So, so M- sorry. We M- called it as a classic political tactic. She was wrong, so she changed it to something that I'm in fault about. But the point still remains: you were wrong. Oh, okay. The point was: watch out for Montana. It eats cars. Oh, okay. <laughs> So be safe. Thank you. And this has been the AJ McCall Show. After After the the show. show.